Welcome to the tutorial for Spanish numbers. Um, I'm going to present this on the iPhone simulator right in the display, but uh, the iPad version is uh, functionally identical. As for the free version, the functionality is the same, but I'll point out some limitations uh, as we go. So looking at the tabs, uh, you see that there are three uh, games here. We're going to start uh, with Listen. Um, we'll skip this as you can uh, read it at your leisure and I'm going to cover the same ground here. Cinco. Now it's simply a matter of hearing the number spoken and typing in the, the uh, corresponding digit. Ocho. Now uh, you probably saw a flash there of green which indicates that you got it right. And down here it's a bit of a scoreboard. It shows you the number of questions that were asked, the number correct, and the correct in a row in case you want to compete with someone. Now uh, I've already forgotten the second number, so that uh, gives me a good occasion to show you this button, which is to repeat. Okay? Ocho. Uh, now we'll get this one right again, and we're pressing the answer button here. Okay? Cero. Ocho. Seis. Now, what happens if we get one wrong? Well, let's pretend that we don't know what this number is. And, uh, Seis. and we press this. Just look up top. Seis. And you'll see a flash of red indicating that uh, no, you uh, didn't get it right. And it's repeated again. In fact, it's going to be repeated until the end of time. Uh, until you do uh, and one of two things. Get it right or you can press the skip button here, okay? Now I'll just show you the uh, scoreboard. Obviously we have uh, five questions. We got one wrong, so we only have correct, and we have zero correct in a row. So let's say we're completely stuck. Seis. And we press skip. Now I'll just direct your attention to what happens up here and down here. And uh, that's probably not fair because uh, it's hard to look in two places at once. So I'll, I'll repeat it. But uh, one of those places the first time. Una. Okay. So let's say that uh, oh, we're troubled by this number too. Una. We don't know what it is. Una. Now watch the bottom when we skip. Tres. So it tells us what number we skip. So we have a fighting chance the next time. Okay. So that covers listen. Uh, let's go to speak. Speak itself is a more of a reference. It's, it's not a game. And uh, we'll skip this. I'll show you all that. And it's uh, so it's just a matter of typing any number from zero to one million and hearing it spoken, seeing it written. So we'll start here early. Uh, easy. Ocho. Okay. Nueve. Seis. A bit more daring. Ochocientos. And then when we get more advanced. Ochocientos. Ochenta y ocho. Mil. Ochocientos. Ochenta y ocho. And that's it. And of course you can have it repeated. Ochocientos. Ochenta y ocho. Mil. Ochocientos. Ochenta y ocho. Next we go on to read mode. And this is a matter of seeing a, a number presented as a word and typing in the, the digit. It's the counterpart to, to listen. And uh, in a similar way you can you can skip it. There's no such thing as repeating because it was just presented again. Um, but you can skip if you're if you're troubled. And similar to uh, listen, it uh, will do one of two things when you skip. It will present the uh, the, the ominous red bar at top, and it'll show it'll say what number you skipped at the bottom. So we'll skip this one, and we skipped uh, number six indeed. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, settings now. Now, uh, by default, uh, when you install this application, you have you're playing within the range of zero to one million. Uh, but there are several lessons as well. This is a kind of a free for all. You can set your you can set your own range here. You can set it to uh, maybe you have a test coming up and it's 20 to, 20 to 40. Okay. 
uh, and you go go back to listen or read and you're going to be presented with that range only. 29. Okay. 20. 27. And you'll play within that range uh, until you get quite sick of it. And uh, also read. You have the same kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but you can have canned lessons, and in fact, uh, 21 to 40, approximately the same thing is, is here. So say you want to practice uh, dates, 20th century dates. You can both listen and read. Uh, we'll follow the same lesson. Mil novecientos nueve. Okay, and you just uh, type that in. Mil novecientos siete. In a similar way, you'll have the, uh, the read will present the same within the same range. Okay, just helps you uh, uh, focus because, uh, frankly, zero to a million is is an intimidating lesson. Um, you can change the dialect, so we're listening to the international Spanish dialect, if you will but we can change it to the Americas. And that uh, will go to speak just to, to hear that difference. Obviously, it's just a difference of sound. Words are spelled the same. 888-989-487. And, uh, yes, yeah, so next is mode. We've been in guided mode by default, which is if you imagine a balloon gently rising, but it only rises uh, uh, to your comfort level. So if you uh, successfully answer correctly, starting from zero and going upwards, you'll be allowed to float upwards to, to higher numbers. But if you have trouble, you'll just uh, you'll have to stay stay put. And of course, you can change your own range. Uh, you can um, customize your own range if you want. But uh, random is a it's it's more advanced. So say if we um, if we picked a range like uh, well, let's just say we go to uh, sense, okay, uh, and we go to random. When you go to listen or read, we'll just pick read arbitrarily. It will it will not uh, start from the bottom and, and uh, float upward. It will go uh, entirely randomly, but within always always honoring the range that you have chosen. And that also applies. 34. That also applies to. 31. To uh, listen. 34. And finally, we can clear our history altogether as if we uh, installed the application again. Um, it's a demonstration, so why not? But be before I do, I just want to uh, uh, toggle off the scoreboard. Some of you may not like, may find it distracting to have the the scoreboard there. And uh, indeed, it's it's now hidden, and that's all. This also. 27. Excuse me. This also applies to. Uh, 62. To listen, and it's not lost for a reason. 89. We can go back there. And there it is. Okay. 93. Uh, yes. Finally, we can clear the history. Start again, and it warns you because it's a very serious action, and uh, we'll say yes. We cleared it. 17. And we have no scoreboard because 49. we didn't answer anything yet. Okay, uh, that covers the functionality. Just uh, info here. You don't have to read this. You you mastered this. Um, you can go check out my other apps. I do have a couple. One other Spanish app you might find useful. This goes to this very same tutorial, and this closes. Not surprisingly. Uh, so that's it for Spanish numbers. I hope you uh, enjoy the app. Hope you find it useful. I think numbers are a good uh, entry point for learning any uh, language. In fact, I offer uh, much the same app for, for other languages such as uh, French and Russian. You might be interested in that. So I, uh, I wish you well and uh, I especially hope to get your feedback. Thank you.